Welcome back to the Queensland Conservative. You're with Lyle Shelton. Well, last week was a little bit sad for me and the team who fought the good fight to preserve the definition of marriage. Thursday, November 15 was the first anniversary of the announcement that Australians had voted for same-sex marriage. Now, I don't blame my fellow Australians for choosing this and I accept the democratic decision of the people, even though I disagree. The reason I don't blame them is because they were told over and over again that there would be no consequences. They were told that it was a simple decision about the love of two people that affected no one else's rights or freedoms. When we raised the consequences during the debate, the likes of Tony Abbott's sister, Christine Forster, accused us of throwing up red herrings and furfies. If only we were. Right now, the freedom of parents to choose to have their children educated in a school community which reflects their values on marriage is the subject of a Senate inquiry. No consequences? Well, if you're a parent like me, whose values differ to that of the rainbow political movement, you are right here, right now, under the gun. But there's more. At the weekend, news broke that the wedding magazine White was forced to close because activists targeted its staff and advertisers with accusations of bigotry. Why? Because White Magazine was run by Christians who chose to feature only weddings that contained one man and one woman. Luke and Carla Burrell had even refused to take sides in the same-sex marriage debate because they believed it was an unloving conversation. And they were right. They just wanted to get on with their lives in peace. But there is no peace, even for those who try to stay neutral. A rainbow-coloured fist reached out and grabbed these peace-loving people. White Magazine was forced to close. The activists' demonisation of advertisers as participants in bigotry scared them away. Another victim of the consequences of change is Perth photographer Jason Tay. He was asked to photograph some children being raised by a same-sex couple. He said he was happy to do the work, but confided that he did not agree with same-sex marriage. Simply voicing his sincerely held belief has landed him in trouble with the law. He remains before the Western Australian Administrative Appeals Tribunal. It's hard to believe these things are happening in Australia. You see, the law is a teacher. When the marriage law changed, it meant that, previous, that, that the previous definition of marriage became unlawful. It is only logical that holding that view is bigotry and that demonising anyone associated with upholding that vision of marriage is fair game. Now, the coalition promised to protect people's freedoms. Former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull set up the Ruddock Review into religious freedom, but it has not been released. I was asked to comment about these cases and the erosion of freedom on Sky News last Sunday. People are afraid to voice an opinion that runs counter to that which is carried under the rainbow flag, which has become a flag uh, of oppression. It's not a flag of liberation or tolerance. And uh, it's, it's profoundly disappointing that a coalition government uh, does not have the strength or the will or the courage or the resolve to be able to ensure that what was promised to Australians in the marriage campaign, that no one else's freedoms would be affected, that that is actually given effect in a post-same-sex marriage world. They are dithering on the Ruddick Review. Uh, they have um, capitulated, essentially, to uh, the rainbow political movement. And uh, now Australia is a less free place. And uh, it's not just... If people think this is just going to stop at Christians, think again. 4.9 million Australians voted no. Many more regret it. Uh, they are not all Christians. And uh, until every last Australian bows to this agenda, and particularly to its sinister agenda that follows, to teach children that their gender is fluid, uh, uh, no one will have any peace until that is enshrined in every public and private school in the country. Sadly, Australians were lied to, and the government seems incapable of delivering on its promise to prevent attacks on people who disagree with same-sex marriage. After I went on Sky, prominent Liberal politician Tim Wilson tweeted to me, Here's the problem, Lyle. You don't believe in live and let live. Nothing you have ever done has ever demonstrated that attitude. Instead, you've adopted as live and I'll tell you how to live, just like the hard leftists. 
I couldn't let that one go through to the keeper. When I was at Australian Christian Lobby in 2008, we supported the then Rudd government's removal of all discrimination against same-sex couples. So I tweeted back to Tim. That's not true, Tim. As you know, I supported the removal of all discrimination against same-sex couples. I opposed redefining marriage because I knew it would lead to the crushing of dissenting Australians' freedoms, even though we were promised it would not. So Tim came back. No, you didn't. You actually rhetorically supported it, but in the end opposed the legislation in 2008. Hashtag revisionism. Now, this was just Tim making stuff up. So I went back to him. Tim, again, that is not true. The only aspect of the 2008 legislation we opposed was the nonsensical provision that children could be the product of a same-sex couple, when we all know it takes a mother and a father to produce a child. We backed every other law change. Well, I didn't hear back from Tim after that. Last December, after the plebiscite, amendments were put to the parliament that would have protected Luke and Carla Burrell, Jason Tay, and the hundreds of thousands of parents who are now staring down the barrel of losing their freedom to have their children educated in an environment which actively upholds their values on marriage. A majority of coalition MPs and senators voted against these freedom protecting amendments. They cast their votes for the rainbow flag. It's hard to see them coming back now. Next year's election will be all about freedom. It may be our last call for liberty. That's why conservatives like me are running for the Senate. We will be your fearless voice for freedom. I'm Lyle Shelton, you're with the Queensland Conservative, stay tuned for more.